125,000 years ago, the world was in the grip of an ice age. North Africa, once grassland, became a vast desert. And struggling to cope with these changing conditions were the humans who lived there. These people were hunter-gatherers. As Africa dried up, they had to travel farther to find food and drinking water. About 80,000 years ago, according to one theory, many of them left Africa entirely. We conclude this from studying the artifacts and human remains found in East Africa. Archaeologists can tell us in astonishing detail how these people lived. They designed tools with care, understood the seasons, and knew when game animals would return from their seasonal migrations. The decision to leave Africa may have been influenced by looking across the Red Sea, where ample rain had watered the inviting green hills of modern-day Yemen. Once outside of Africa, these travelers split up, some going north and west, some going east and south. They went their separate ways, never to meet again. Some would head for the Middle East and Europe. Others would continue east, each combing their way along the coast of the Indian Ocean, looking for warmer, gentle places to stop eventually reaching Malaysia and even Australia. The descendants of these first migrators would make journeys of their own, thanks to an improving climate. About 50,000 years ago, the ice age that caused humans to leave Africa came to an end. Monsoon rainfall increased in Arabia and India. Rivers swelled and game spread north. Humans followed the Tigris and Euphrates rivers from the Persian Gulf to the Middle Eastern lands along the Mediterranean Sea, tracing an arc that would become known as the Fertile Crescent. These families in the Fertile Crescent established the first successful human colonies there, more than 10,000 years ago. Here they would learn how to grow crops and keep animals. The rivers provided water to irrigate crops. There were plenty of fish and reeds to build houses and boats. Date palms grew in abundance. Later, the descendants of these first families would build stone structures that would become the cities of Mesopotamia in modern Iraq. The first steps had been taken to the great civilizations that would invent writing, develop warfare, and build empires. For the people who migrated into Asia, North and South America were the final frontiers. According to one theory, hunter-gatherers pursuing woolly mammoths into Siberia eventually came upon the Bering Strait, the narrow channel between Asia and North America. This was the last great journey to populate the world. And like all other migrations, it was dictated by climate. 25,000 years ago, the world was moving into another ice age. The seas began to recede, and out of the Bering Strait emerged a land bridge connecting the two continents. This allowed groups to migrate to North and South America. Around 10,000 years ago, humans had traveled to every corner of the globe, the most incredible and important journey we have ever made. <laughs>